one can observe that uh, some prices from the primary market as II today in some preeminent gallery as the secondary market prices. What do you think of that? I think that's one strategy that the gallery can take when an artist has a very hot market. Because in a sense, if they systematically price their work for much less than it might get at auction, then what they're doing is basically raising the, the chance of speculation. And I don't see any reason why the galleries and the artists, who are actually the people who create the work and who put it in, should be deprived of all the upside and instead it goes to flippers and auction houses. So in a way, in the fight, an official fight between auction houses and fairs, in this case, the galleries in the fairs are winning, right? I mean, first of all, we don't, we're not involved with prices in any way, so I don't think it's right to characterize it as a fight between the auction houses and the fairs. Obviously, we want our galleries to be strong, and if this is the way that they want to play it with their most valued artists, then I think it makes perfect sense. But we never tell our clients how to do their business. Merci.